Hello everybody, this is an update on the go back video that I made previously on my channel. I've made some changes since then. I've uh, added a, a trauma kit like I had mentioned I wanted to get before and some other items and I've taken away some things. So I'll go ahead and get into it. Alright, I've got everything laid out here. I'm just going to go over quickly what I have in here. I'm not going to go into much detail like I already stated just because I have it in more detail in the other video. But I keep everything in the GoRuck Rucker. Uh, this is the slash compartment on the outside. It has a small compartment on the top on the inside, a larger mesh compartment, and then the large open space, a couple of plate holders back here that I put a couple of 55 gallon uh, drum liners and some wet wipes down in there. And these are, the Ruckers designed to carry ruck plates, so that's why I call these ruck pouches. They sell ruck plates that go in this on their website if you want to, if you're into that kind of thing. So I always keep a carabiner on the outside, and I love this backpack. I've had it for probably five or six years, as you can tell, it's pretty dirty. I carry it every day. This is not really a bug out bag that I just leave sitting at the house and I grab it or whenever something arises. I keep this with me pretty much 99% of the time. And so everything, this is like I said, it's more of a get home bag. It's not really a bug out bag. The stuff in here, a lot of it is everyday use items along with some survival type items, which. Like I stated before, I would only use in an emergency type situation, so it's kind of a conglomeration of all that kind of stuff. So, starting off here, I've got a folding cap and some mechanics gloves and a Rat in the Rain notebook. These three items I keep in the slash compartment on the outside, and that's all I keep in there. Because in the Goruck Rucker, if you put much in there, it starts it, it starts kind of taking up away from the interior space, just the way it's designed. So I try not to keep too much in there. But I've got a small Maxpedition micro pouch a little um, spider cone on the outside. Surefire 6P LED flashlight, the older one. It's 80 lumens, but it lasts quite a long time. I really like it. The uh, Gerber multi multipliers, a little small first aid kit in here, mainly just gauze and some band-aids. Little emergency charging cord, mini BIC, Victorinox Classic, and that's about it in that. <clears throat> I've got the Maxpedition Beefy Organizer. This is sort of my survival module, if you want to call it that. I have a uh, Cold Steel Recon 1 tactical knife in here. It's just more of just a rugged pocket folder. Uh, this is some emergency contact information I keep on the outside. On the inside, I've got a Silcock key, which I mentioned I wanted in the last video. This is the only way you can turn on water at commercial buildings like... Um, uh, uh, retail buildings or restaurants so they they don't have spigots that you can turn by hand like you have at, on residential uh, areas like houses or whatever whatever the case may be or apartments you have to have a silk key to get that so it's not for stealing water it's for getting water to fill up your water bottle if you're in an emergency situation so that's the only way you can have it so that's why I throw it in there it is a little bit heavy but I think it's worth it <clears throat> so I've got some fire starters in here um, button compass this is a iPhone charging cord slash uh, thumb drive, larger Bic lighter, a couple of bandanas. This top one has permethrin in it for uh, uh, keeping away the bugs. Got the Venture Medical Kits Emergency Bivy. It's basically a um, emergency sleeping bag, kind of made like a emergency blanket, so that's nice to have. Got the Gotana Mesh. This is like walkie-talkies for texting. So you can message your, on your phone off grid. Uh, you don't have to be connected to any cell towers whatsoever. So you can use these for privacy or if the cell towers are down. You can't call through them, but you can text through them, which they're pretty cool. And I've, I go into a little more detail on the last video. So I've got a black diamond headlamp in here, a military issue sewing kit that I've expanded into a repair kit. Like I said, go into more detail in the last video. Got some Kim lights. Some duct tape on a credit card. A couple of hanks of paracord. This is military issue paracord, by the way, too, not the cheap stuff. Got the uh, mosquito head net and mittens. This is an old military issue uh, one that I found that's uh, pretty cool because it's so small. A little container for uh, cotton balls and Vaseline, which obviously is not in there yet. Some ear pro and a steri pin. This is the Adventurer. I think they've changed it a little bit since then, but it's basically a UV light that has little uh, contacts on it that detect water, and it's for like a Nalgene size bottle, so basically like a quart or liter. You uh, put 
the uh, SteriPen in it. It's obviously in a case right now. But you put the in the water, it detects it, turns on the UV light, you stir it around until the light goes off, it purifies the water, it does not filter it, but you could you could filter the water through your bandanas and then purify it with this. So that's pretty cool. The thing, the one reason I like to carry this over carrying a Sawyer Mini is those kind of filters like the Sawyer, which I, I have one and I really like them, but if you use them and you get them wet, and you don't let them properly dry and in cold weather they can freeze and once they freeze they're no good they're ruined also in here I keep some extra batteries and a deal of gun lube just a little pouch of gun lube All right. I've got my North Face rain jacket I always keep in this little pouch and I mentioned in the last video I think I wanted to get a, a, um, a portable charger this is a slightly over 10,000 milliamp this is a black web ruggedized charger I really like it. It charge. It's. It has like a fast charge mode. It charges my iPhone really fast, and it's got a little flashlight built in, which I assume would last the whole length of the 10,000 milliamp capacity, which would be pretty handy to have. So I've got a JBL speaker, a little charging kit. It's just various. I've got a Apple Watch charging cord, ex uh, extended lightning cord, uh, the iPad charging brick, which I use to charge my iPhone with because it's a it's a faster charge than these smaller ones. Some micro USBs, a little car charger, and then I have an old 30 pin um, cord for charging the older iPods or if anybody has an older device, I have a cord for it. So on the top of the bag, I keep, uh, in the little small compartment that I showed, I keep uh, ibuprofen, some antacids, some Bose headphones. These are just wired uh, sport ones. Th this is made by PA Lights. This is the Survival Light. You can't buy this anymore, unfortunately. Uh, they used to issue these, I, th I believe, to the military, but it takes a 9 volt battery. And they say on their website, which the old website, that they last two years with the name brand battery and they always glow. So when you open your bag, you can see the light glowing in there. And if it's pitch dark, you can see where your flashlight is. So that's pretty handy. It has a uh, a dim, I think, a, uh, eco mode, a brighter mode, and then it has a let's see strobe. So that's pretty handy to have. My trusty spork I've had forever. A Tide pen, and pen and pencil. A little comb, and I keep a Fox 40 whistle on the lanyard. That's all stays in that little top compartment for quick access. And then I've got, I showed in the last video, this hasn't changed. This is a Camelback uh, water bottle insulator. has molly on the back. If I wanted to attach it to the outside, I could create a little more space uh, inside the pack. But this is a uh, stainless steel Nalgene. And you can kind of see the marks on it. It actually got ran over by a lifted truck and it, it survived. So pretty, pretty tough water bottle. Reason I picked stainless instead of the regular or standard Nalgene is because you can boil water in this if you have to. So inside I just keep a little GSI pot that nests on the bottom of this for more, you know, for a cup or boiling water either way. That actually does keep the water pretty cool on a hot day, even in the direct sun. I've got the trauma kit that I've built. I'm going to do a separate video on this. Uh, I, the, the first aid kit that I showed in the last video, I just put inside of this. So it's pretty much everything's in there. So I think that's about it for now. I appreciate you guys watching and uh, have a good day.